Oh, big blow for, for Scott Forrest, um, previous captain, and, you know, devastated for him. But, uh, you know, when, when Stevie get, asked me and, and, and spoke to me on the phone, I was obviously delighted and huge, you know, huge, uh, huge honour being a captain of your country. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Now, we were with you for uh, most of the season uh, in the Scotland 7 squad over at Hong Kong and uh, obviously in Edinburgh as well. Uh, mixed fortunes last season, it has to be said, but uh, obviously a lot of experience for you and it's been quite a year for you as well, coming back from injury and of course going out to New Zealand as well. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a, a rollercoaster. There was a you know, big, big blow getting injured, but then it suddenly all sort of took off when I, when I came back. You know, first sort of game back from, from a six-month injury, I was in Hong Kong, I was... That was something special, and after that, I went out to New Zealand for three months, and then uh, back into this. So it's uh, it's it's been a good ride so far. So there's a few of the the old campaigners there, uh, uh, Anderson, of course, and you've got Jamie Hunter and Chris Fasaro, of course, your old sparring mate, and uh, uh, but a lot of new people as well, and a couple from the borders. Uh, we've got Graham Hogg and Rory Hutton, who everyone's talking about at the moment. It's an exciting player. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's great to have the experience and. And you know, guys who haven't been capped yet, but are just so exciting. So to get a good mix of that is, you know, it's been been really good in in the squad to have that. You know, Andrew Eason, who's who's missed sort of the last season, the year before, but he was involved before that. You know, he's been playing for Edinburgh, so he's he's got a world of experience as well. And you know, as you say, uh, Rory and uh, coming in is, is is very exciting. Well, you've been on the circuit for a while, so you, you know the ropes by now. You've been to Dubai and uh, all these great places around the world. But for some of the youngsters coming in, um, it's it's quite a, a change of scenery, isn't it, to, to, to put it bluntly? Yeah, you know, I, mean, I think that that's going to be the challenge, getting out there and, you know, in Dubai suddenly get out in this new stadium and 40,000 people just going wild. You know, I think that, that hopefully won't take long to get used to. Um, but uh, it is something just so different that, that we just never have you know, playing club rugby or, you know, anything over here. So it's a really good experience, but hopefully we switch on to it pretty quickly. So how are things shaping up? Looking good, yeah. We've, we've been, uh, the build-up, um, most, most of us went to Singapore uh, for a sevens tournament out there as the Scottish Thistles and that. You know, that was, no, that was a good, good learning curve. Had some, had some good, good results there. The build-up now has been, been really good. Guys have been, uh, been pretty focused, and training's been tough. But you know, we, that's what we need to do before we get out there and, and uh, sort of prepare us well. So, how about the targets for this year? Uh, no doubt that elusive semi-final is high on the list. Yeah, no, we, we had a, had a goal setting yesterday, and that was, that was all right in the front of our minds getting that semi-final. And you know, once we get that. Once you get into that, you know, the final's right there and, you know, winning the final. But, you know, definitely getting that semi is a, a big priority for us. Because it's a big difference in points as well. It's something like four points for a quarterfinal, but 12 for a semi. Yeah, no, it's huge, especially for the rankings, you know, coming, coming into the next tournaments, you know, World Cup and all that. So it's, to get that semi would be brilliant.